Let's talk about my perfect oral health care setup. You already know what time it is. It's disclosing time. I have a specific routine for my nighttime, my morning time, and that midday emergency cleaning because you never know when you need to have fresh breath. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure to smash that subscribe button down below if you want to figure out what the best oral health care routine is for you, and let's get brushing. We're going to start off with my nighttime routine because that's the time of the day where I actually go really hard on cleaning my teeth, but not really too hard because I don't want to damage them, but like hard meaning like I clean them really well. Regardless, all my oral health care routine is pretty intensive, but at the end of the day, I go, I pop off, I really make sure my teeth are clean before I go to bed because that's actually the most important time of the day to make sure your teeth are really clean because when you go to bed, you wanna make sure you have no bacteria left on your teeth because if there are, that's just six to eight hours or however long you sleep of just bacteria producing acid to dissolve your teeth away and we don't want that. We all wanna make sure you guys have the healthiest smell possible. So that's why the nighttime routine is one of the most important parts of the day. So let's dive into what I use at night and why it works so well. Starting off with the toothbrush I use, you already know what it is. The Sonicare. Man, this is my trusty steed. I've been using this thing for... I don't know, like four or five years, and this thing is baller. You guys already know that I've been using countless numbers of toothbrushes over the past couple of months, and honestly, nothing really compares. I think there are a couple other brands that could stack up against this, but I have yet to try them. They're on my list, and I'm gonna be changing up my oral healthcare routine really soon to see if I can find a better one. But for now, oof, gold standard. There's honestly so many crazy cool features about this toothbrush that I can continue to talk about, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. I already made a review video on this specific toothbrush, and if you wanna check that out, make sure to click the link above. Now let's talk about the paste, the toothpaste that is. Which toothpaste am I using? I kinda go back and forth. I would say for the past several years, I've always gone with Rembrandt. This toothpaste makes sure you have clean white teeth all day, all night. This stuff is the jam, totally recommend it. Classic. Rembrandt's just that classic mint, but it's also got like a, a strong like hydrogen peroxide type flavor to it. I don't, it's chemically kinda ish. That's just because it's got strong whitening agents in this toothpaste and it works really well to whiten your teeth. Unfortunately, Rembrandt toothpaste is kind of hard to come across, so I wanted to find some alternatives and I came across this toothpaste. This is the Colgate Optic White Renewal. You can find this stuff almost anywhere. It's got a high percentage of hydrogen peroxide in the toothpaste, so you're getting that whitening effect. It tastes pretty good. It's kind of got like, honestly, like a Coca-Cola type flavor to it with like cinnamon ish it's warm it's got like a very warm feeling to it but it's still like slightly minty it's very unique i really like it it's definitely a different type of mint flavor that is new and i really enjoy this toothpaste you can find it anywhere it's slightly expensive but i i like it Obviously you notice I use whitening toothpaste at night and now the toothpaste I use in the, at the other times of the day are gonna be different and let me quickly explain why. And the reason why I brush with a whitening toothpaste right before bed is because that's gonna optimize the amount of contact time between the toothpaste and your tooth without any interruptions from food or drinks. And this will allow you to maximize that whitening effect. Before I get brushing at night, one of the most important parts of my routine, you guys already know. Yup, it's that floss, baby. I know you guys don't like flossing because it's a hassle and it's kind of a pain in the butt, but you guys are missing a lot of your tooth surface if you guys aren't flossing. You gotta, you gotta clean all that nasty stuff in between your teeth because because if you don't, that could lead to bad breath, some inflamed gums, and interproximal cavities which are a pain in the butt for you to get fixed. And you guys don't want that. I don't want that for you guys. It's honestly a cheap, simple fix. You guys just gotta build that habit. Once you build that habit, you won't be able to live without it. So cop yourself some of this floss. It's, this floss is one of my favorites. And that's that's very simply because I have really, I have really tight teeth contacts and man is it hard to get floss in between there. But this specific Oral-B Glide makes it real easy to get in between those tight contacts. Now that step one is done, step two would be to rinse my mouth out with just water, kind of wash out, wash out any uh, loose debris in my mouth after flossing. Yes, it's kind of gross, but that's what you gotta do. And now after flossing, if I was really trying to make sure my teeth were the cleanest possible, I'd whip out my water flosser after initially flossing and kind of clean through all my teeth, making sure all that debris between my teeth is gone. It's an effective method, but it's kind of a lot of hassle. And honestly, in my opinion, it's just faster to use normal floss. And this is, this is a mess. 
And just use normal floss and just gargle and swish some water in your mouth afterwards and rinse that out. And now once you're done with that, it's time to move on to the next step. My favorite, the brushing. <laughs> now for the moment you guys all been waiting for, let's test to see how well my nighttime routine will clean my stained teeth. You guys already know what time it is. It's disclosing time. Let's check the before results. Sheesh, man. Man, that's grimy. Let's get brushing. You already know what the first step is. It's flossing time. Wrap it in between your fingers and get flossing. I forgot to mention this earlier, but if you're like me and you've had braces, and but now if you have a lingually bonded retainer on the back side of your teeth, you're going to want to make sure to use this Oral-B Super Floss. This stuff is fantastic at cleaning around your brackets. And for those who don't know how to use it, thread it in between your teeth and then adapt the floss as a C and just kind of go up and down and around your teeth. And you're good to go. Do that for all the teeth that you have a lingually bonded retainer. The Sonicare Diamond Clean with the gum control bristle head. Check this out. <laughs> That's some power. <laughs> I'm telling you, this toothbrush blasts away the plaque. There's not really any other toothbrushes on the market that can do this. Okay, now that my toothbrush is thoroughly wet. Fat glob. Oh, this toothpaste is always the chunkiest. This toothpaste has to be by far the most unappealing toothpaste on the market. I don't know why they do this. It looks like, it looks like cottage cheese. But trust me when I say this, this stuff really works well at cleaning and whitening your teeth. Doesn't taste the best because I think it's just fully loaded with some hydrogen peroxide. But enough of the complaining. This is Dental Digest, let's get brushing. This toothpaste is really thick and kind of dry. The texture of this toothpaste is so weird. It's really dry and chunky, but I'm telling you it works. Built-in pressure sensor to make sure I'm not brushing too hard. Let's check the after results. It's game, it's, it's game over, man. The toothbrush is goaded. I mean, you guys, the results speak for themselves. So now that our teeth are perfectly cleaned after flossing and brushing, let's talk about the last step, and that is teeth whitening. Personally, I'm not whitening my teeth right now because I'm working on some really cool teeth whitening episodes, so I kind of got to let my teeth get a little yellow. But if I wasn't working on those episodes and I wanted my teeth to be really white, I'd be whitening my teeth right after I brushed and right before I go to bed to let those whitening agents sit on my teeth over the longest durations of time, resulting in a maximum whitening effect. Which product would I personally be using if I was whitening my teeth at night? That's gonna go to the Crest Emulsions. This stuff really works nice. I've had proven results that I've tested on myself. After one week, I had some pretty good results. My teeth had a really nice white luster to it. Let's talk about some of the key features about this product in particular is it's just super easy to use, tastes really well, and I had no sensitivity when using this product, which is pretty rare when it comes to teeth whitening agents. Now that we've gone to bed, we've woken up nice happy and refreshed good morning let's talk about that morning routine so what's my go-to toothbrush to use in the morning that's gonna make me feel nice happy and just ready to go for the day it's actually gonna be one of the simplest toothbrushes I own but just works really well and I enjoy using is the hello charcoal toothbrush I mean it's not charcoal in the sense where it's gonna be like abrasive on your teeth it's just got like dark black bristles and man, this thing, this toothbrush is a vibe. And I mean, it's just so simple. Like your teeth are pretty much already clean after that nighttime routine. So you don't need to be like worrying too much about cleaning them. So you just kind of want to do something nice and gentle. And I mean, in the morning, you're kind of like foggy, you know, like you're kind of like, oh, like, you know, you're just like all over the place. So you don't want to worry about like the vibrations from uh, Sonic here. Like it's loud on your ears it's waking up it could wake other people up you don't want that you just want something simple and that is this hello charcoal toothbrush it's 3.99 for a two-pack that's a fire deal what's the best way to compliment a great toothbrush nice toothpaste and let's talk about the toothpaste that i love to use in the morning that just makes me feel ready to go for the day this moon toothpaste is delicious honestly kendall jenner killed it my only side note is you got to make sure you get the fresh mint with fluoride you really don't need whitening toothpaste in the morning it's kind of just like a waste of money because you're most likely going to be eating something or drinking something immediately afterwards and you're just going to be washing away all of like the whitening agents in the toothpaste so it's going to be doing like negligible benefits to you and so that's why i recommend just buying a toothpaste that it just tastes phenomenally delicious <laughs> it's like this one because you just want to start off your day with a great taste in your mouth and moon toothpaste does that for me and i feel pretty confident it'll do it for you 
Ah, this tooth. <laughs> This toothpaste is basically like a nice sweet mint. It kind of reminds me of that Trident sweet mint bubblegum. It's very, it's it's nice, it's balanced, it's not, it's not like really minty. So if you want something that's gonna be like invigorating and that's just gonna wake you up in the morning, this is not it. This is just a nice calm wake up mint flavor that's gonna leave you with a great taste in your mouth. The toothpaste says it has whitening agents in it, but I looked at the ingredients and I don't know if they just forgot to include it on the back of the tube, but it doesn't have any whitening agents inside the toothpaste, so, but no big deal. Like, I'm not looking for a whitening toothpaste anyways. This toothpaste just tastes delicious. Let's quickly talk about my emergency middle of the day oral health care cleaning routine. I know that's a lot to say, but you know, sometimes you never know. Sometimes you gotta clean your teeth in the middle of the day, it's whether it be because you ate some nasty food for lunch or you got a really important meeting later in the day. You always gotta have clean teeth and a fresh breath. But it's important to note that you shouldn't really be brushing three times a day every day because that's just gonna cause further wear and tear to your teeth. That's just unnecessary. So that's why when it comes time to brushing in the middle of the day, the gear is important. So which gear am I using? in the middle of the day using this super soft Oral-B Pro Flex toothbrush. The toothbrush bristles are super soft, so I'm not too worried about damaging my enamel brushing multiple times of the day when I do use this brush, and you can't go wrong. It's a very inexpensive brush option and cleans amazingly. So this was actually a toothbrush I was using in the past, but let me show you what I'm actually using now. It's these two replaceable bristle head options. Which one am I gonna be using? Just kind of depends on how I'm feeling for the day. Both are gonna clean great. If you wanna learn more about these two toothbrushes, make sure to click the link above the to figure out which one is better for you. The reason why I'm using either of these toothbrushes is A, because they're super soft, or it's really gonna clean in between my teeth to make sure I have that fresh breath for that meeting. And also before brushing, I'm gonna be using these super handy Oral-B Glide Plus Scope Flosser Picks. Th th these things are great. They have a nice little flavor to the floss. It's a simple design, you know, you can't really go wrong. A flosser is a flosser. They all work well. I just like having the wax flavored floss at the end. Not only does it work, but it's just super simple to use and convenient. Sometimes at night when I'm just super lazy and don't feel like flossing, I just use a flosser. But it's really important to make sure when you do use a flosser, you're not damaging the gums in between your teeth. Now those flossers are great for the road, but if I'm home, I'm gonna use my water floss and also add some spice to it. I'll add one or two cap fills to the tank and then fill the rest with water. That small little pro tip will make sure you have a nice fresh smelling breath. All these products I've showed in today's video have been personally tested by myself over several months to several years, so I do feel fully confident in recommending them to you guys. However though, it's important to note that not all these products will be great for you guys because every smell has their own needs and your oral health care routine should be tailored to your dental needs. So it's important to know what your dental needs are and then from there, figure out what types of products you want. So if you guys have any issues figuring out what's the best dental products for yourself, that's what I'm here for. Make sure to smash that subscribe button down below because I'm working on an extensive video series highlighting all the best products depending on your oral health care needs. You guys are not going to want to miss it and if you guys are interested in figuring out what the best oral health care routine is for you, that's a video series you're not going to want to miss and the only way not to miss it is by smashing that subscribe button down below so you're notified when that video drops. Now that I shared some light on my personal setup, I'm interested to know if any of you guys use the same products I do and if you guys do like any of the products I used in today's video or you want to check them out i've included them all in the description down below thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode we'll see you guys next week and as always smile on ciao it feels so nice it feels like i literally just left the dentist